What is up guys and welcome back to SP Vids. In today's video we're back on the MK2 or the Mark II, the brand new device from Roland and I wanted to share with you the fact that this device is now an audio interface. So I've had this unit a while obviously and you guys have been asking me loads of questions about it which is very helpful because I'm going off and finding out all sorts of different things about this device. So one of the things which I hadn't got around to doing yet is actually plugging in the USB. So I was getting to know all the features of it and running through that and looking at the manual and the next thing I thought was well I should hook this up with USB and see what this is about in terms of transferring files and stuff. So this is really awesome, this is now an audio interface and what that means is if you're working in something like Ableton you can literally just plug in the USB-C in the back here plug that directly into your computer and I'm a Mac user so on my Mac it just instantly detected this I didn't need to install any software or anything like that and I could then use the SP as an input to my door that's just so so crazy and it's so much more convenient than it was with the SX where you had to basically plug in cables into an audio interface you no longer have to do that with this device this is an audio interface so all I did was pick up this cable I can link to this below on Amazon and it's just a very standard USB cable so it's got the USB at this end I'm not sure which version of USB this is uh, but it's a fairly standard one that we're all used to and then the slightly updated USB-C on the other end I plugged these in and immediately it was detected by Ableton as an input device and also the great thing as well on the Mac is that you can also use this to output the audio from your computer as well so you can stream music down it and record into it and use the skip back function as well to listen to audio coming into the device so if you're a person that loves sampling from YouTube or you use streaming services to get your samples, this really is a bit of a game changer to be honest because you no longer need an audio interface in order to get audio to this device, you just need this USB cable. And yeah, since owning this, I've actually just been using this permanently instead of my audio interface to just listen to any sort of audio that I need from a computer, whether it's listening to music or watching YouTube videos or doing anything online, I just hook my headphones into this and I'm using this to listen to all that audio. So my poor little Behringer 2 input device now is becoming almost fully redundant. The only saving grace for that is that I need to use this mic which I'm using right here. I've got a condenser mic that sends phantom power to this mic so I need to use that still to record these videos. But apart from that the Behringer USB uh, audio interface that I own is not getting used for anything at all and that's just so much more convenient I think. So this may have been something that you didn't know, this is also an audio interface now guys. If you've got any questions regarding this, I'm not particularly tech savvy, to be honest, when it comes to sort of latencies and all that kind of thing. But if you've got any questions about this, please do leave a comment below and I'll try my best to find out the information that you need or I can try and speak to someone at Roland to get the information that you need. So I hope this was useful, guys. I hope this was insightful. This really is a bit of a step up and it just means there's a little bit less clutter on your desk as well. It's cleaned up my working area a lot more and there's a lot less cables going on. Obviously, if you still want to sample from normal devices, you've still got the double jack input on the back and you may need to get some adapters for your cables. I've got a collection of all kinds of Fono cables and they're basically kind of redundant now. I mean, I can still use them for my older SPs, but... Uh, but yeah, you may need to get some adapters uh, or you may just need to invest in some new cables altogether that have the double jack at one end. So this was a quick video guys, but I just wanted to bring your attention to this because I think a lot of you may not know that this can actually do this now. Uh, so it's a, another nice feature that Roland have included in this device. And it's another one of those updates where they've obviously listened to the community and, and thought about what people actually need. So props to Roland for that one. I really like this feature. And yeah, like I say, I'm using it all the time for getting samples and also just listening to audio on my computer. Thanks very much for watching guys. If you are not subscribed, I'd really appreciate if you could hit that subscribe button. I'm going to be doing loads of content about the Mark II, about all the new features in real depth. I've already dropped a video about the chopping mode, which I'll link to above, and you can go and check that out if you want to. Uh, but yeah, these updates are going to be coming thick and fast. I'm trying to upload a lot more uh, at the moment. I'm sure you guys have probably noticed. So yeah, there's loads of content coming on this channel. It's not necessarily going to be all about the Mark II in the future either. Obviously, there's other samplers which I want to play around with and do tutorials about as well. So if you're into sampling, making lo-fi hip-hop and hip-hop, then yeah, please do subscribe and become a part of this community on this YouTube channel. Keep making beats, guys. I'll be back with more videos in the next couple of days. Peace!